Good morning, friends. Can you say good morning? <laughs> Lovely. So today we are going to be going to Costco for the very first time and we're so excited. Well, I'm so excited and I think Elijah, my five-year-old, is pretty excited. My husband, maybe not super excited, but he's being a good sport about it. And Patrick. He just likes everything, so he'll be excited too. <laughs> so we're just finishing off getting organized, ready to head out. It's quite a long drive. It's well over an hour, under two hours, but I think, you know, the better part of an hour and a half. Oh, you need some milk. So we just arrived. Everyone is ready to hop out and stretch their legs. It was a really long drive, but I'm looking forward to going in and seeing what they've got. It was a much bigger day than we thought it would be. It ended up taking about two hours to drive there. It takes about an hour and a half from our house to Sydney City, but it was an extra half an hour once we navigated our way and found it. So it was a big day and a lot of driving for two little boys, but, but we got some pretty good savings and we really wanted to go and check it out. Um, so I'm glad that we made the trip and we have plans to go to Sydney about once a month anyway just for other things so it's not going to be out of our way because originally I was thinking you know we could go and make all of these savings but if we're driving for an hour and a half or two hours we're probably going to lose our savings in petrol money but like I said we have plans to go there anyway so we aren't really going to be losing much money in the petrol. So I thought that I would go through what we got today. I was just kind of wanting to get a feel for the store, check out what they have and pick up a few of the products that I had heard about, um, you know, or seen in other videos and wanted to try. Um, so it's really, I didn't you know it's not a super well thought out list um, and I didn't get any I didn't get any fresh produce or anything so I'll just get that locally but yeah I'll go through and share uh, with some of the prices so the first thing that we got were these uh, two packets of muffins now my understanding is that um, you buy you, you're meant to buy two packets so I'm not sure if you're not allowed to buy one like if you just have to buy two but they are $9.99 for two packets so I think that's really good and the muffins are actually quite big we shared one of the chocolate ones on the way home and it was delicious I have heard that you can freeze them uh, that's nothing like official from Costco but a mum that I spoke to said that she has frozen them and they turned out okay um, you know that they were totally fine when she defrosted them so we got the double chocolate muffins and some blueberries I'm just going to go in the order of my receipt so that I can read out the prices um, so then we also got some nappies and these are there are 184 in a pack and they were on sale for $40 so that was a really good saving um, compared to what we would normally pay for nappies then we got some goldfish and uh, I had no 
idea that they sell these at Costco. We can't get them in Australia. I didn't think we could get them at all, but apparently you can get them at Costco. And they were $16.98. I did have a read of the ingredients. I mean, we have some allergies, so I have to read, <laughs> read the ingredients anyway. And as I was going through, I thought, hmm, I probably wouldn't normally um, normally buy these but Elijah my son who watches um, a bit of YouTube here and there has seen kids eating these and he was like oh my goodness we really need to try them so he was super excited and he was such a good a good boy on the drive down and for the whole day while we were there so I thought I would just get those for him for a special treat the next thing that I got was this baking soda and it's actually six point um, one two kilos so there's quite a lot there and it came down um, it was ten dollars and eighty nine cents so that's actually a massive saving um, for what I would normally spend for baking soda and that is a huge amount and I don't love using it in baking I feel like I can always taste it but I do um, use it in cleaning and also my son Elijah loves doing science experiments with vinegar and baking soda so we use it a ton so it definitely won't go to waste and the next thing that we picked up was this toilet paper so this toilet paper that we got there are 48 um, rolls in there and they were $21.99. Initially I wasn't sure if that was a huge saving but then I realized that they've got a lot of extra um, a lot of extra sheets on each roll so we actually saved just alone like regardless of what we saved in the price um, I mean there were, we saved about $21 um, just because they had extra sheets I'm not sure if that makes sense, it's really it's late, <laughs> but I just spent time doing the maths and I think our biggest saving was because they have extra sheets, if that makes sense. I'll, <laughs> I'll drop it down. Uh, oh, and then the other thing that I don't have here on the table was a ninja costume that my son got and that was $38.98. I thought uh, that I saw a sign that the costumes were $25. But maybe not. Um, that's what the receipt says. Oh my goodness. Are you a ninja? Oh man. Are you a good ninja? You're not? Oh boy. <laughs> ah! So next is this two kilogram pot of vanilla yogurt. And it was $8.69. So that was a really good saving as well compared to what we normally pay for yogurt. Then we have these soft and chewy granola bars and these are something that I've seen in other Costco YouTube videos. They were $14.99 and a really big saving um, compared to what I would normally pay for granola bars um, just from Coles or Woolworths so I was really excited to see those. And the maple syrup which was another really good deal was $15.99 for one litre. So that's a really huge saving compared to what I would normally pay. And next is this Kirkland Ultra Clean Laundry Detergent. I couldn't really compare this to a price of something that I currently buy because I normally use powder. So I couldn't compare, but I thought that that was still quite a good price. Um, oh, actually it was $23.99. But then it was, then it had $5 off. So it was cheaper again. And next was this 60 pack of Welch's fruit snacks. Uh, they're kind of like a gummy fruit. A mum that I was talking to recommended these. She said they were really good. And they are quite nice. I don't really like gummy kind of treats like that but I know that my son will really love them and they were 14 a uh, 15.99 and then a two kilogram packet of chocolate chips and 
Actually, part of the reason that I got these was because they're called semi-sweet chocolate chips, and I always see that in American recipes where they you know, call for semi-sweet chocolate chips, and I hadn't seen those before because we just tend to have milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Um, I'm not so I'm not sure if that's just the equivalent to milk or dark. I don't know how it works, but I was excited to see those, and it's a really big saving because they were. Um, $16.99 so compared to what I would normally pay that was a really good deal and then the same deal as the muffins the two for $9.99 were the bagels two for $9.99 so I just went with the plain and the blueberry we normally get bagels each week uh, and there are four that come in a pack for five dollars so it's kind of the equivalent of getting two extra bagels for this for the same price and then the last thing were these pretzels there are over a kilo of pretzels and they were 10.59 so the total came in at 232 dollars and 99 cents um, plus tax which brought it to 250 dollars and three cents but after doing some some late night maths, I found that we saved about um, a little over $160 just with buying the Costco alternatives to what we would normally buy. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Goodbye!